Hi there, welcome back. I, and today we're going to talk about what is the difference between articles and basic pages in Drupal. And this is a really fundamental concept and I want to make sure that you get this before we move on because I've seen lots of people make mistakes and it can kind of mess you up down the road. So here's the thing, when you install a new fresh version of Drupal, okay, um, you have two, what's called two basic content types. And let me show you what they are. I'm going to click on the add content button right here and we'll see that we have two choices is we can either add, to begin with, we can add articles or we can add basic pages. By the way, we're going to extend this, we're going to change this, we're going to add lots of different new content types. But to begin with, before you do anything else, you have two choices. You can either add an article or a basic page to your Drupal site. So what's the difference between both of these? Well, let's take a second to actually read this. So it says here, use articles for time sensitive content like news, press releases, or blog posts. And the second option here is use basic pages for your static content, such as an about us page. That explains it pretty well, but let me just kind of dive into it a little bit more. Any information that's going to be time sensitive, any information that is sort of timely or that is published on, a, that you want to publish on a particular day, and that, you know, maybe won't be as relevant say a year from now or something that's the, usually the type of content that you would publish as an article okay um Whereas stuff that's like that basic stuff in your site, like the about us, the biography, maybe a privacy policy, policy, it's not that the information doesn't change, mind you. Keep in mind, you can change this information, but it's not something that is time sensitive in the sense that you wouldn't just, you know, publish your biography on a particular day and then expect that nobody's going to want to look at it a year from now, right? Like this is stuff that is the, what we call the static content in your website. Um, if this isn't 100% clear um, that's okay but keep following along because it's important that eventually this does click into place for you okay um, probably the best way to explain this is to give you a few examples and in fact I'm going to um, I'm going to give you a little quiz we're going to talk we're going to think about uh, if we were building say a website for a band for example and I'd like you to think about whether you would choose to publish I'm going to give you some examples of pages or, or different types of content we would want to put on a band website and you're going to think about which uh, whether you would use a basic page or an article to publish that so let's start with something really simple let's say that you've published your, you're making a band website and there's going to be an about us page what would you use would you use an article for that or would you use a basic page so I'll give you a second to think about that pause the video if you have to and when you're ready just unpause it and okay yeah, you would use a basic page for that because your about us section, even though it might change, okay, that's static. People are going to want to access that anytime. It's not something that should appear in any sort of feed. This is something that just should be static on your website. Um, okay, how about this? What if your band was to put out a press release? How would you, what would that be? Would that be an article or would that be a basic page? Okay, yeah, it's an article. And you know what, if you're smart, you're actually reading this and you're seeing the word press release and you saw the About Us page. So those were some, some easy ones. Let me, let me make things a little harder for you. How about this? Um, I mentioned this before. Maybe you're, hopefully you were paying attention. Let's say a privacy policy. Let's say you've, you've put some sort of a privacy policy on your page. Would that be an article or a basic page? Yeah, that would be a basic page because even though you might change the terms of your privacy policy, um, that is really... Like that, that's static content. You know, you want that to exist on one place in your site. That's not going to show up in any RSS feed or anything like that. So that's static. How about this? How about a tour diary entry? Let's say you're a band, you're a touring band, and you know, your your guitarist posts, you know, hey, today we were in, in Winnipeg and it was really awesome and blah, 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 blah. Would that be an article or a basic page? Yeah, that would be an article because that's kind of time sensitive, right? You're talking about a specific period, you're talking about a specific uh, time, or it's it's information that is relevant to a particular um, to a, a to a tour or to a particular event. Um, you want that content to remain accessible on your site, like you know, so the people. But it doesn't necessarily have to be like on the front page, like you know, it's probably more relevant to people now than it will be, say, two years from now. Um, so it gets archived later on, but for the time being, it's featured. That's the type of stuff that, you know, your fans, let's say they're subscribing to you via RSS or something, they want to see that content. Um, finally, how about a band's biography? Would you publish that as an article or would you publish that as a basic page? 
you'd publish it as a basic page, right? Because that's, again, that's something I would anticipate seeing like on a tab, right? There's probably a bio tab or something like that um, on your band's website. And the biography, I want to go there. And that's sort of a, the, the, the content is, even though the content itself may change, right? You, you know, you might have different band members show up and leave and that sort of thing. You might edit your biography. That content should stay in the same place all the time. Um, that's not something, again, I would expect to see in any sort of an RSS feed. Um, it's not time sensitive. Now, now, if you want to put out a press release about, you know, a new band member joining your band, then that would be appropriate to publish as an article, right? Um, but, you know, you and maybe you would do that simultaneously. Maybe you would put out a press release or a blog post or some sort of a time sensitive news item about, you know, hey, we welcome, you know, Jane Smith to our band as our new guitarist. Um, and then simultaneously, you would edit the bio page, um, that, that static page, uh, to have the new information say our band, you know, consists of these people. Okay, so I know we didn't really do anything in the screencast, but it's really important to explain the difference between basic pages and articles. And why is it so important? Well, there's some default behavior. Um, Drupal treats articles and basic pages very differently, and 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 it's kind of logical in the way that how you how you want to present this information on your site. And now, of course, we can change all those settings, and we create can create new custom content types. And we're going to have to tell Drupal exactly how we want Drupal to treat all those different content types. But to begin with, um, bear in mind that articles are time sensitive, basic pages are static content, and you know, as time goes on, we'll learn about how to create all sorts of different content types. But this is enough to get us going. So I hope that that made sense. I hope that that was helpful. Start thinking about, you know, if you're thinking about building a website, you know, it's not a bad idea to start listing the different types of content you want to have on your site and think about whether you would want to publish this as an article or as a basic page or maybe maybe you even have some type of content that you're not sure maybe it doesn't fit neatly into either of these content types in which case you'll probably really be interested in learning how to create your own content types so stick around we'll cover that in a future screencast but for now thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time